Welcome to the Power of Offense with Keith and Rodney. And I'm your host, Keith. And right below me on your screen is your host, Rodney. Greetings, greetings. Peace to the gods. Peace to the gods. Today, yes, indeed, we're going to talk about this. Why can't black people just follow instructions? I mean, Jesus Christ, what's wrong with us? We can't just comply so that we won't die. But let's check out this video, Rodney, so everybody can see what we are talking about. Now, just to frame this for everyone, right? It's two black couples and they're at a hotel in Laguna Beach, California. All right, now they're having an issue with the hotel manager, right? Now the hotel has rules, rules y'all, that everyone is supposed to follow. But you'll see that these couples feel like they're above the rules. So let's play. Tim, you're That's being fair. Yeah. No, I'm and not. Your rules don't make sense. And you're the only. My rules don't make sense. These people are considered outside. This is outside. But I'm like, you're already coming into the conversation kind of hostile. I, I react you. to the way our guests react. And, and, and I would be treated rudely. I'm gonna reply the exact same way. Go ahead and record all you want. Here's my name tag. And, and, and this not rude. What part of it's rude? Daughter just taking out her phone and video recording. What part of it's rude? We record when we're getting shot by the police. So yeah, this is this is oh, not considered rude. Now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa, well, you're just but it's your body language. Everything. You're so and upset. And, and, and these people three really feet away are considered outside somehow. No, now you're being chill. Well, chill. When was it? You're the only one raising your voice. No, no, okay. All I'm saying is, I see what you're saying about your rules. Uh -huh. I'm just saying the difference is... He wants to take out his phone now. They're, they're like, well, yeah, you got your phone up. Well, they're like one feet away, and we're like two feet from them. So what you're saying is... This is a two-foot distance. Even though we're under the same roof. That's fine, Timothy. Go ahead. And until we pointed out that they were this will be allowed our to security sit there. Too for you, by I don't way. give a they fuck, allowed, Timothy. Oh, you're going to use for family now? Oh, yeah. You're at your sure. meeting. Go. I don't give a goddamn hell. JMAS, JMAS, get security. Why don't you get our car? I will. What's your last name? Cool. Go for it. I will. What name is it under? McCool. What? McCool. McCool with an M? Yep. You got it. <laughs> hey, Rodney, I will play this again, all right? I will play this again so we can discuss this, all right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. And you're the only. Don't make sense. And you're the only. My rules don't make sense. These people are considered outside. You know what? Let's stop right there. All right. I will stop right here because, again, they're in the hotel, right? And those people that are considered outside are next to an open window. Now, we all know when dealing with the virus, right? Either you either you have to be outside or you have to wear a mask or both. We all know this. It's done this way in pretty much every state in the union. Am I right, Rodney? Right, right, right. But the, I have a question. I wonder how, I guess we can't see it because we already watched the video, but I don't know how far the person taking the video is from the photo that we're seeing now. You know, like, like what's the distance between everyone? You know what? Is it a restaurant or a hotel to where it's people, if they come in a hotel, like, like they're not allowed to sit in the open space the way they used to prior to the virus. Now that the virus here, they want you to keep moving. You either be at a window or you're going back and forth to your room. That's probably their policy. I based agree. On, based on the virus, correct? Correct. All right, go ahead. Yeah, 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 correct. Now, I heard somebody make a statement that your rules don't make sense. And my thing is this. Yeah, it might not make sense to you, but guess what? A, 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 a corporation has the right to make rules to how they choose to do business. It's within their rights. Just like we have rights as individuals to make rules of how we handle things in our homes. Same thing. So I want to make sure I say that. Now, what's funny to me is this though, Rodney. What's funny, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna come back to this part. Let me let me just play it some more. But I'm like, you're already coming into the conversation kind of hold up hey Roddy let me go back let me go back a little bit because what I find kind of interesting is that hold up it appears as if these people are considered outside it appears as if hold up no no I can't say that but I'm like no 
almost look like someone is sitting in the back, in the background. Did you see that, Rodney? You talking about the frame right there? Boom, right behind her. Ah. Go back, go back a screen. Okay, let me go back a little bit more. And right there, it is somebody sitting right there behind her. Now, where I'm getting at is this, because what I, I'm gonna tell you what I was about to say, y'all. I was about to say it seems funny that all the white people, right? are following the rules. I was going to say that. It almost seemed like all of them were sitting with the hotel considered outside. But guess what? Somebody is sitting behind her. Now, I can't tell the race or ethnicity of this individual. It looks like, it, it look like they have white hair. It does. It does. You can't blow it up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't. But, 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 but let's keep going. But I'm like, you're already coming into the conversation kind of hostile. I, I react that. to the way our guests react. I and and I would be treated rudely. I'm going to reply in the exact same way. Go ahead and record all you want. Here's my name tag. <laughs> I would stop right there. Now, I got to agree. To me, the manager is a little hostile. He is. I mean, he could be more professional. But I do understand where he's coming from because I tend to deal with people how they deal with me also. You know, I call it the mirror effect. So if somebody is giving me bad energy, I tend to duplicate it exactly what they're doing because it tends to throw them off. <laughs> you know, you, when you do the same thing. It, it, exactly, but uh, they would have to check. If I was one of the couples, I would see if that's in his um, procedure policy on how to conduct themselves. You know, you know did they tell right. him when they hired him to act the way our customers act? You, you know what I'm saying? React the way they react. So if they act like a fool, you act like a fool. Because that's what he's saying. <laughs> that is what he's saying. You know what he's saying he responds to how the customer reacts. And, and I guarantee you the policy of the hotel for whatever position he's in does not dictate for him to conduct himself in the same exact manner as their clientele, which provides him his salary. But I, I agree. do agree with you with the mirror because because that's that you know that's the four day laws of power so 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 Indeed. that's very key with what you said if someone treats you a certain way or something happens just flip it and just see if they like it the same as as they're treating you you, you, you know what right. I'm saying? that's yep. the mirror effect absolutely absolutely Keep people going. don't like that you know what I'm saying? most people don't like how they treat others believe it agreed. or not agreed all right let's keep going and, and, and is this not rude? What part of it's rude? Your daughter just taking out her phone and video recording? What part of it? I got to say this, Rodney. Recording is not rude, y'all. It is not. You can record in a public place. You can record. Just like they have the, the ability to record you, you can record them also. That's recording is not rude. The manager is lunching when he says that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, man. You know. But let's keep going. It's rude. We record when we're getting shot by the police. So yeah, this is this. Hold up. <laughs> what she mean? We record when we get shot by the police. That has nothing to do with the damn conversation. Why are you talking about getting shot by the police when this is not an altercation with the police? Like, make yeah. that make sense. Can we stay on topic, y'all? I guess she's justifying recording. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's crazy. All right, let's keep going. This is oh, not considered rude. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Whoa. Well, you're just, but it's your body language and everything. You're so upset. Likewise. And, and, and these Wait, people you're, three you're feet away are considered outside somehow. So it's three feet away, Rodney. Everyone is supposed to be three feet away from each other. That's what it sounded like she just said. Three feet away from each other. Right. Now, to me, right, it doesn't look like they are three feet away from the people at the window. It actually looked like it may be one foot away from the people at the window. Are considered outside somehow. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But either way, the hotel has rules and no one is above the rules. Just like the maxim is no one is above the law. That's the legal maxim, y'all. No one is above the rules. So the, the rules that apply to everyone else, right, applies to you if you want that product or service 
from that corporation or in this case a service from this hotel so again they should be sitting outside just like whoever this individual is behind them now now where now back where you see someone behind them that may be somewhere where someone's eating because it could be a bar behind that person you that's know a good point so so they may have Great a point. section for you to eat and then they may have a, a regular section to whereas prior to the virus they will allow people to sit but since they had the virus it, it appears that they don't want anyone to sit there they want everyone to sit by a window or where you're eating but we can't really tell but it, it appeared that it may be a bar section or something back there that's that that's divided up by the plants that's behind this young lady right here so but you can't really tell so yeah, yeah you whatever can't whatever you're saying it could, it could be borderline harassment by the um by by the employee in addition to being hard-headed by the uh patrons unless they didn't have a sign you know what i'm saying if they didn't have a sign they like they should have a sign that says no one sits here so if they didn't have a sign here they may feel as though that they being discriminated against you, you know what i'm saying so right we, we really don't know all the angles of, you know we just know um what's transpired immediately but we don't know happened you know you know what i'm saying right right, right. We don't i agree know if they had any boundaries any any signs and you know what i'm saying if you don't have any signs who said that they didn't have the right to sit there? You, you know, that, that's true. So, so, but, so, then, so, so then, whenever he say, "Well, I don't want y'all here because that's the rule," their question should have been, "Well, where's the rule? Where's the sign?" But right, no one right. said that. You, you know what I'm saying? So they're in that confrontational space because they don't see what he's talking about. You know, he he should have said, "Well, well, you didn't read the sign. The sign said you can't sit down right here." He never said that. He didn't say that this is a rule because of the virus and the and, and most of those rules are written down. You can clearly see stamped on the floor, stand six feet. When you go to any store, any business, stand six feet back, do this. Do they have every everything is spelled out because they babysitting everybody with with, with the social social conditioning. So I agree. So if they're not talking about signs and stuff like that, it could be something personal. I, true, but I gotta say this, Rodney. You know our people like I know them, man. Sometimes Negroes just don't want to listen. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. I'm not, we're not saying that's the case here, right? It kind of appears that it is, right? But like you said, we don't know what transpired prior to this interaction that was recorded. I, I definitely agree with that. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep going. No, now you're being don't call me chill. When was it? You're the only one raising your voice. No, no, no. Okay, okay. okay all I'm saying is I see what you were saying about your rules. Uh -huh. I'm just saying the difference is He wants to take out his phone that they're, Look at Timothy. They're like, yeah, yeah, your phone up. Well they're like one feet away and we're like two feet from them. So what you're saying is This is a two for different. Even though they're in and zooming out, so you don't know how far they are. That's true. Now it sounds like the guy said the brother said they're about two feet away. That's what it sounds like you yeah, said. Yeah. But I gotta say this, right? Is that the brother also stated that he understands that they have rules. Now, this is my belief. I believe if the men was just there, let's say, let's say they, their significant others were not there, their women were not there, I believe those guys would have would just simply comply. I, I really do. Yeah. because they're much more calm right than the women are and and i gotta say this too i also want to throw this out there too Rodney, is that sometimes ladies when us men are talking just allow us to talk and handle the situation you know what i mean like i don't understand why she's why she's ad-libbing the conversation that her man is trying to have with the hotel manager or her it just man doesn't make have. sense to me you know what I'm saying? And and that and that and that's part of the, the whole thing where where the our family is broken down even though they're together. You, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. when there's any type of confrontation outside of the house, it's the man duty to step up and handle that. It's not the women's duty to step up and handle that unless the man is not there. The right. fact that the man is there, yet the women is stepping, in my opinion, maybe a little out of place, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. because she's a little aggressive without letting her man handle that. You, you you know what I'm saying? Your man's supposed to handle any confrontation whenever y'all two are out. You, exactly, you can especially with you another man. Now, 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 if now if if uh, I'm getting whooped, you better help. 
<laughs> right, right, <laughs> you know right. What I'm you know, <laughs> but if I'm not getting whooped, you know, let me handle that. You know what I'm saying? Because I can handle less. You, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, so, yeah. so, certain things should be handled in certain ways, and and it has nothing to do with uh, any type of what, what they call it. New word with the male what? Uh, toxic masculinity. Some shit like that. You, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? To where, to yeah. where they think the man trying to trying to take over. The man not trying to take over. The man is playing his part. You know exactly. I mean? So I think the women and men forgot our part. You know what I'm saying? And and that's where we are. I agree. Just like, and I got to say this, Rodney. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me that this brother say he understands the rules, yet he's still trying to protest the rules. Now, make that make sense. <laughs> you know, you, you want to protest something that obviously makes sense to you. But, well, 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 that's just him trying to appease his woman, his woman you know, trying to fit, make it seem like he man. understand, but you can kind of tell who's running things. Yeah, you can. You, 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 you know can. what I'm saying? You can. You can kind of tell. You can kind of tell just from that interaction. I can understand the rules, but I'm but I'm going to let you just go ahead and finish, keep arguing now about the curse and get us put out. You, exactly. You, you feel what I'm saying? Exactly. Completely, uh, she's going to appear to, to have, what's that little quote? That angry black woman effect. You yeah. Know, when she got angry, she cursed. Her. Immediately when she cursed, she's she's off her square. You know, you she, she done let the white boy win. Exactly. You know, in the psychological game, because she was the first one to blink by yeah. using inappropriate language. But there's a freedom of a speech. So so for for him to put them out because of that, it'd be a lawsuit if it was me. Right. Right. That's real. That's real. All right. Let's let's finish this video out. That's why I said, and until we pointed out that they were, this will be in our security office too for you. I don't give a they fuck, allowed, Timothy. Oh, you're gonna use my fan? Hold on, let's go back. This will be in our security office too for you. I don't give a fuck, Timothy. Oh, you're gonna use my fan? Oh, yeah, you're at your meeting. Let's go. I don't give a goddamn hell. J-Mass, J-Mass, get security. Why don't you get our car? I will. What's your last name? What's under? Go for it. I will. What name is it under? McCool. What? McCool. McCool with an M? Yep. You got it. Now, 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 I want to say this, Rodney. She just proved what you said. That that is what I would call toxic femininity. That's exactly what that is. Now, like you said, why why does she got to talk like that? Why is she using profanity? That is unbecoming of a woman. Women are not supposed to act that way. Her man wasn't even acting like that. That was that was ridiculous, man. She was the aggressor. Yes, and no. she lost the argument by acting that way. Yeah, yeah. She was the aggressor, and then, and then got angry. You, you know what I'm saying? The white boy was calm, cool, collective, and rude. You, you know, it wasn't like <laughs> it wasn't rude. But I don't believe his policy says to um, to act the way the patrons act. I agree. You, you know what I'm saying? So that doesn't exist. So it was a it was a two way conversation, and she blinked first. You know, so she blinked yeah. and got and got off her square. So. That is what it is. I agree. I agree. Now, I wanted to pull this up for everyone, Rodney. Now, this is an article, right? We're not going to read the entire article. We just want to deal with the important parts of it, right? And it's uh, it was published by Cairo 7, which is a uh, news corporation. Now, it says, can businesses refuse to serve customers who don't wear masks? All right. So, again, a customer refusing to wear a mask is the equivalent to a customer refusing to sit outside. It's the same thing, same act. You know, different variables, but the same act. That's the, that's the same same policy as when they say no shirt, no shoes, no service. You know, that's their policy. If you don't want to abide by that policy, if they say come in there, you got to wear a hat. That's their policy. You don't want to follow their policy. Don't go there. I'm glad you, you said that, Rodney. Don't participate if you don't want to follow their policy because that's their private business, open to the public. And in order for you to do business with them, you have to follow their rules, their policies. It's not law, but that's their policy in order to come into their business establishment. So exactly. We to, so we ought to respect that. Oh, don't go there. Don't go there talking shit, trying to, try, trying to start it because you don't like it. If you don't like it, go somewhere who will comply with the way you conduct yourself exactly exactly and i'm glad you said that because it, it takes me right to the part that i wanted to read real quick it says what if you don't wear what if you don't want to wear a mask can you be denied service 
is it against your rights as an American citizen to be turned away? The short answer is yes, you yeah. can be denied service if you're not wearing a mask, right? And, or in this couple's case, if you don't sit outside, right? Which was the hotel's policy or rules. And then it says, and your rights are not being infringed upon if that happens on private property. So that hotel is private property and the rules of that private property is dictated by the hotel. Now, to 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 uh, add to what you were saying, Rodney, right here, and I'm going to highlight this. This is exactly what you just said. The rule can be compared to the no shirt, no oh, shoes, sure. <laughs> no service standard. And I know 7-Eleven used to, used to have this up on their, their doors of their stores back yeah. in the, uh, I want to say the 80s and 90s. I remember this as a child. Most stores have had them right there. Yeah. Yep. I because I remember going to stores when I was a kid in the 70s. No shirt, no shoes, shoes, and got served. I used to walk in the store with no shoes, you know what I'm saying? No shoes, no shirt, and still got service. But they changed their policy. So they said no shirt, no shoes, no service. So now they're saying no shirt, no shoes, no service. No mask. No mask, no service. No service. If you don't sit in this area, no service. No service. Yeah. You now you know what's crazy, right? If you don't follow our instructions, I mean, our, our policy. No, so I can see if they're saying, well, well, you can't sit there because you're darker than me. You know, right. you know what right. I'm saying? That's the old race car, which which still is in play, but it's not applicable. Right, not not for this situation. Yeah, you know. Now, what's weird to me is this though. I never understood the whole no shoes thing. I'm like, you really had people walking around with no shoes going inside of stores, man. That is that is like really disgusting. That was back in the day. We did. You know, <laughs> you we used know? <laughs> We used to walk to the store with no shoes on and shit down the car. Damn, that's <laughs> <was> crazy. <laughs> but you know what, Rodney? We all used to drink sink water too. Yeah. We drank we drank tap water when I was a child. I remember that. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, things change in society. But check this out. I, I wanted to read this a short part of this uh, case law to everyone because the point is this, right? The point is this. The store has the ability or the hotel has the ability to make their rules. Now, like Rodney said, these rules have to apply to everyone, right? And it can't be something to discriminate against you based upon like your race, the color of your skin or anything of that type of nature. That's you know what I mean? The First Amendment. Exactly, exactly. Now, this case is, is uh, Barbier versus Conley. And uh, this case is from 1885, and it was issued by our federal Supreme Court. Now, right here, right here, it says the 14th Amendment in declaring that no state shall deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws, undoubtedly intended not only that there should be no arbitrary, arbitrarily deprivation of life or liberty or arbitrary spoilation of property but that equal protection and security should be given to all under like circumstances in the enjoyment of their personal and civil rights now, that, now, now that's an important statement right there because what I wanted people to see is this Rodney under like circumstances under, you already know Rodney under yeah. like <laughs> circumstances yeah. in the enjoyment of their personal and civil rights and let's make this clear that civil rights is not just a black american thing all americans have civil rights that's why it says equal protection and it's talking about civil rights to all persons or all people they just so applied, that's not just a black american thing yeah they just applied it and made us believe that civil rights was for black folk you exactly know, for civil rights human rights gay rights this right the key word is know what your rights are and most people yep. do not you know they don't know what rights are unless you put an adjective in front of it so a uh, civil rights is just your protections under the first amendment are, are just the protections that that are, the, those are the protections protected by the constitution but it's also enumerated in the declaration of independence telling you what your freedoms are once you're uh, born onto the, the the planet we call earth you know it's so all these yep. so, so so that's your god-given unalienable uh rights liberty which is one of them. So, so after, so after that, then, then we come in to protect it with the Constitution. So everything, as long as it's under the same circumstances, you know, is your your rights are your rights. You have to know what your rights are. So civil rights don't necessarily mean black because most people, most people who win civil rights cases are not black. 
Exactly. Exactly. And I'm and, and I'm glad you said that, Rodney. Now, I want to say this, Rodney. I want to finish this out. I want to finish this uh this broadcast out by showing them this. Now check this out, y'all. You don't want to be like the lady that you just heard using profanity with the hotel manager and you don't want to be like Jim Jones cursing out hotel security in Atlanta. Check this out. Yeah, we know you a homo, nigga, you faggot motherfucker. The fuck wrong with you? Here, take this money, man. Fuck you upset. Bitch ass nigga. You a faggot too. You came out here like you was gonna do something. Higher security, that's your gadget? You a dweeb. You a dickhead. Here. Here. How many rooms is this for? Take that. Take this. That's three rooms, you dickhead. I thought you had four. I had three, dickhead. Go count. Them. You think this make you tough because you're giving me the cash? I mean, you can't give, give it back. Cash. Give it back. Now I'm not giving you shit. All right. Now I just say I robbed you, bitch. Now that was totally ridiculous. But again, y'all, please, 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 black people, follow the rules, man. Let's be respectful. No one is above the rules. All right. No one is above the law. That's a legal maxim. Please, if you if you comply, you won't die. All right. That's the moral of the story. I'm pretty much done, Rodney. Yeah, yeah, me too. If you don't want to follow the rules, just don't go to the establishment. Exactly. Don't put yourself in a position to be put off your square, be a little crazy. A lot of that stuff where he just did, although he trying to flash the money, he, he has a deeper, something deep going on inside of him to get you, get you that angry. You, you, you know, Absolutely. So, so it's like a deeper, it's a deeper problem, but I'm through with it too. Absolutely. And we'd like to thank everybody for checking out this broadcast and, uh, Rodney and I will catch you on the next one. Please share, like, and subscribe. Peace. Peace.